A lot of people talk about changing the length of your stride to try to correct the way you walk. Either shorten your stride or lengthen your stride. But really the length of your stride is determined by how you use your core. If your stride is incorrect, then that means you're not using your core correctly. If you're using your core correctly, then it doesn't make any sense to try to alter your stride. Your stride is doing what your core is telling it to do. So if you have to fix something, it means you have to fix the core. Don't forget to click the like button to show your support for this content and please subscribe so you can be notified of new videos to help you on your journey to better, more conscious movement. In this video, I'm going to talk about the problem with overstriding or taking too long a step, which can lead to imbalance in the spine and also a heavy impact with the heel. Let me show you what overstriding looks like. It's like I'm reaching forward with that swing leg and not taking a natural step. My spine gets off of what I would call the, your pedestal. Your pedestal, if you were a statue, is that area where you can stand naturally and you can pivot and still have everything centered in between your two feet and change weight from one foot to the other foot and be in perfect balance and turn around and you're still in balance, turn around this way, you're in balance. When you're off your pedestal, now my spine is not really engaged with either leg. And if I try to pivot, I can't pivot around in any functional manner without shifting over and deciding which leg I'm going to be on. So when we are walking in a stride that's beyond our normal length, we end up causing more impact on the ground. When I step with my normal length stride, I can pivot and you'll see my feet are right underneath myself. If I overstride and I pivot now, I'm not in balance where I'm in a very wide unnatural stance here. I want my stance to be nice and even underneath my body. And that should be the length of my stride when I turn sideways. In my earlier video, I talked about incorrect use of the upper core rotation that led to leaning forward with walking. The overstriding is often caused by incorrect use of the hip muscles when we're walking. I mentioned earlier that rotation of the core is essential to proper movement. It's easy to see rotation in the upper part of the core. It's easy to see rotation in the middle part of the core, which is the lower abs. It's not as clear in the hip joints what rotation is. But when I flex my right hip, that pulls my body towards the right. When I flex my left hip, it pulls the body towards the left. If I flex both hips, that is not a functional movement. We move through rotation even with the hips, one hip at a time. The other hip is still active, but it's moving in a more passive manner. I'm actively flexing my right hip or I'm actively flexing my left hip. I don't try to actively flex both hips at the same time. When I am walking, as I change weight, I'm actively flexing my rear hip. And then when I swing through, I'm going to activate my standing leg hip to take the step. When I activate the standing leg hip, I stop actively flexing my swing leg hip. I have swing leg hip flexion, and now I have activation of the standing leg hip. If I try to continue actively flexing my swing leg as I am lifting from my standing leg hip, that's what's going to cause overstriding. I'm lifting from this leg and I'm lifting from this leg at the same time. My right leg is lifting and my left leg is lifting simultaneously and it causes a very lengthened stride and then I end up crashing into the heel by the force of gravity. In order to correct that we have to recognize which hip we're using to take each part of the step. I'm using my right hip, my left hip, my left hip, my right hip, right hip, left hip, left hip, right hip. 
they alternate powering the motion. I don't power the motion with both hips at the same time. If you learn that and practice, you will be able to correct that overstriding. Thanks for watching.